Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here. We are back on Oxfam Evolved and we are back with another top, not 10, not 5, but a top 7. We're just going to meet in the middle. So this is the top 7 things that every ARC player should know that you may have forgotten. There's a lot of things that have been introduced to the game and people have forgot all the old stuff and stuff like that. So we're going to just remind you of some of these things you need to know because it will help in PvE and PvP. So if you enjoy this at any point, don't forget to smash the button, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell, and let me know in the comment section if you knew any of this stuff, if you didn't know any of this stuff, if it helped, or if it was all a waste of your time. Just let me know in the comment section. And uh, let's get started. So we're going to start off straight away with number one. It's going to be a different kind of format to normally. We normally do like a, uh, a list, but we're going to demonstrate a lot of this stuff as well. So number one, it's going to be... How to get rid of the names. So, as you can see behind us, we've got a, we've got a load of dodos there. So, you can backspace it. This is on PC. I'm not sure what the keys are for PlayStation and Xbox. So, you can backspace it, but that gets rid of all your hood. The other way to do it is press end on keyboard. There you go, look. The names are gone until you get right up close to them. There you go, look at that, look. And then it pops up. And then you take a step away and it's all gone. If you put that back on, you're going to have these on. How far away does it even go? Like, they're still there. It's still there, like, you know when you've got 30 odd dodos in your base? Look at that, it's still there! The names are still- that is like ridiculous, like, there's no need for that, you can't even read that, it's just a green mess right now! So yeah, there we go, and it's finally gone. So yeah, all you have to do is press end on the keyboard. I use it every single time I play ARC, I can't do it without it, it's just ridiculous, because you can't play with no HUD. It's, you forget where all your weapons are and all that stuff, so yeah, just press end. I'm not sure if um, you can do this on the Xbox and PS4 because obviously keyboard, there's more keys, there's more stuff to do. So uh, yeah, that's number seven. That's just to um, get rid of all the, the name tags of dodos and other creatures and stuff. Right, next up is dino groups. So you can actually have each species or just a few select dinos in a different whistle group, which is actually really helpful. So right now, if I press J, again, we're on uh, the PC, if I press J, all of my creatures are going to follow me, and uh, it's kind of annoying, but I can get them all to, to stop with you. So what you can do, say we go up to the wolf right here, we go into modify ordering groups, add class to groups, that's going to put every single wolf into group 1. Now if I press number 1 on my number pad, see it's going to just highlight them and press J, only the wolves should follow me. So if I run up here, look at all the wolves follow me, and nothing else. So now, do you want you? <laughs> I'm gonna press you. I press number one on the numpad again, and we're back, back as you can see at the bomb. It says, look, team ordering group one. Now we're gonna have group none. So let's try it with the dodos as well. So I can go, um, do add class, and it will put you into number two. So now if I press number two, it's just you guys selected. Now this is great for when you want to do like boss fights or kind of PvP send, oh god right, you guys shut up, send certain group of dinos to attack someone's base and stuff, instead of having like your whole army of dinos going straight into it. Um, now people do know this is here, but not everyone knows how to use it, so I could also go, say I want this guy, um, I want add creature to group 3, and then I want this wolf, because they're best friends, so this guy is going to go into group 3 as well, so now if I press number pad 3, it's just going to be them two, and I just press J to whistle all. I could just press U to go over there. I could have you go and there's something here to attack, but I could send you two to attack someone. And there we go. And I could use U to whistle, press free again, it starts with none, and now we've got everyone selected, press J and everyone follows again. So, it's just little tips like that that are just going to help that not everyone actually knows about. So, yeah, that is group whistling. Right, so next up is actually a taming tip. So this one is taming a Pachycephalosaurus or a trike. So not many people actually know this, but their heads are armor protected, which means they take very little torpor compared to their body, the tails, their feet, and all that stuff. So these are all level five, I believe. So if we just, let's take for example this one here. Let's shoot him in this head. So that's, that's two. If we can get him a little closer, try again. See how many darts this one's gonna take. I love the green cut on that one. So again, that's another one. There's two. He's still trying to get me. So there's three already, and this is only level five. So this one is taking like no torpor. If we go in ahead and try that other one, he seems to be running away. Because I think we shot him in the back already. But yeah, if we shoot this one in the back, straight tranked out. 
Let's go shoot this guy in. And they even in the stomach. Yeah, 26. So he, look, there we go. Down already. One shot, that one's down. It's so the same with the trike. If we shoot this trike in the back. And then there's another one over there we can try as well. Right, two down for you. And then if we shoot you this one in the head, this is a fresh one. So a lot of people actually didn't know about this, that they had, even it just says on the ARC wiki page stuff, they do have armor plane in the head, so tranking them out head on is not the way to go. You need to go around them, behind them, next to them, anywhere but the head. Even some advanced players didn't know all this, because they just forget. There's so much stuff to remember in ARC, you just forget. As you can see, like this one's taking, what, four or five shots already. Now if we shoot it in the back, it'll probably go straight out. There we go. So. If you're ever going to tame a trike, which you probably will, or if you ever tame a pack of seven swords, which you probably never will, uh, that's it. You need to shoot them in the legs, the tail, the body, anywhere but this big old massive head here, or it's just not really going to work. Right, number four. This one may seem very simple to probably, i say about 90% of us, but not everyone knows you can do this. So on, uh, on, on PC, this is normally called K-Mode, which is you press K and you can zoom out and it's, uh, it's an orbit camera. Um, I do believe this is on console as well. It, obviously, it's not called K-Mode, it's called the orbit camera, but this can be used in a lot of different ways. Not everyone knows how to use it, but mainly PvP, right? So you've come up to this base. It's, uh, it's an absolutely amazing build right here. Look at all this. We can't get in because it's all locked and we want to see what's inside. There's no, there's no gaps anywhere. Um, apart from this gap here, which you, you, you can't see, you don't have to go in there. So uh, you, you can't see here, and then you press K, and look at this. You can just peer over and have a look at the amazing foundation work they've put there. And you can see everything in there, all their the smithy, the dinos, now you know what you need to raid them. Also you can use this for uh, just like zooming in, looking behind you if you're being chased by a summit. There's a big angry raptor behind you, you can just press K mode. Like that, as you do, check it's there behind you and whatnot, and escape. Um, or a compi, if a compi's behind you, perfect timing, wherever that compi's just gone. I heard you somewhere. So uh, yeah, you could do that if you're um, being chased when you want to try it on by someone. Uh, normally PvP mode, press K, see if it's behind you or anywhere. It's, it's good just to hide, so a lot of these sneaking into base things, hide under someone's uh, foundations and stuff. You just hide, blend in with the foundations, and then have a look at someone's base. And you can see what's happening. You can see in which, which room they're going to come out of, and then you can make your way over, round, and sneak into any little holes you can find and stuff. So yeah, K-Mode is used for a lot of reasons, and like I said, not everyone knows about it, but I'm guessing the majority of you do, or you should, anyway. Right, so we're getting into the main bits, uh, all the secrets that not everyone knows about in Ark. So, Here's the otter, you know, the cute otter that everyone loves and is absolutely amazing, but there's a reason to tame this. So, as you can see right now, it's actually, there we go, we've got ice cubed, it's freezing, we're gonna die here. You just put the other on your shoulder, and then, in a minute, that should change to like a snowflake or nothing. There we go, because this is got insulation, 218 insulation, if we chuck it off a minute, we should turn back to an ice cube again, and we're back at 67. So this thing actually keeps you warm, it's like a little scarf around your neck. And now, not everyone knows about that. A lot of people just think, you know, you get this, it gets, uh, what do you even do, get like fish or, or some rubbish like that? Who even cares about that? This thing keeps you warm in the cold and you can just run around this snow place and be lovely and warm and it's, it's amazing. And like I said, not everyone knows that that's what you're meant to use them for. People just get them because they're cute as dicks and they look amazing in a top hat. Or a bulldog mask, <laughs> is in my case. So uh, yeah, that's what another is actually used for, to keep you warm. It's a nice little animal scarf. Right, next up, at number two, just missing out on the top spot, is actually using these monkeys. So people have forgotten what these monkeys are actually used for. So we're, we're a tribe, we've just found, this, uh, just found this house. It's unlocked, but hey look, there's a window open. And for some reason, I, I can't fit in there. I can't climb in there for some reason, but this monkey will be able to. If you got a good enough aim to throw it through this window, which which I don't, let's try again. One more. Here we go. For the for the big one. We'll get it eventually. And throw it in the window. There we go. So he's in the window, and now all you have to do here, if we can whistle this door. There we go. And he opens the door for us. And now we can get in. We can keep chucking poo everywhere. And we can uh, loot all the amazing stuff that was in here. Which, uh, in this case, isn't much. Alright, bro, look. We can chill. 
So uh, yeah, you can only use that with thatch or wood. After you get to stone and metal, it doesn't work. But it's great for like early on raiding for them weird people that have these windows, which I'm not sure why anyone would do on a PvP server. But if they do, you can uh, throw a little monkey in and... Uh, if you, I mean, it takes some practice to get this guy in, because they don't throw straight. <laughs> That's the only problem. Uh, can we get you back in again? There we go. A little run up and do it. And yeah, then he just unlocks a door for you, which is actually actually amazing. So it was actually highlighted in the spotlight when they came out that they did that, but that was so long ago that people don't even know. People that are new to the game don't even know. But there you go. Monkeys that unlock doors for you. Right, in at the top spot is going to be how to stack foundations and walls so some people may not know especially if you've never played on pvp you can actually stack walls and stuff so i'm going to show you how to do this so right now we've got the uh we've got the foundation now we need to put a wall i'm going to flip it by pressing e that's how you do it on um on pc and then we're going to place a ceiling on top of there and then we're going to get another wall i'm going to flip it again as you can see there's two there and then we get another ceiling i'm going to move it across so it snaps onto the other flipped wall so there should be a snap point on one wall and then another one just there like that so that's two on there and then we get to another wall and flip it see we've got three walls thick right now so this wall is three walls thick and now what we're going to do is we're going to place another ceiling hit it to the foundation get a wall there we go just like that so now you have four walls worth of thickness and then you can go ahead and remove this and place your um, your normal ceiling on and you can remove this as well so this is mainly obviously for pvp if someone's going to try and raid you they have to go through how much health that got uh 10 000. so that's gonna be like 40 000 health instead of just the one wall so that's how you stack them it's all nice and neat can we get rid of this one as well it's all straight and absolutely beautiful there and then I'm going to show you how to do the foundations as well and then you can stack all the walls onto all the foundations and have like quadruple the health of your base. Right, to start to do the foundations you want to get a thatched foundation, whack it down, get a pillar, whack it in the middle then you want to get another foundation and as you can see it's going to be a snap point which is a little bit lower and then you want to put another pillar in it and now you want to get your metal one and that's going to snap underneath it again and this is obviously takes a lot uh, you want to get your foundation out again and see yeah, it's another snap point there so we're going to snap that onto there as like that and now there should be a couple of snap points here uh, if we can get that so we've got a one there maybe right, there we go we've got one have to get this right because you could get a couple out of this Right, there's one and then there's the other one just there so there's like look at that three foundations high so you can then use this to do your ceilings and snap like multiple ones on here as we have been doing as well We've got to make sure that snaps onto like the top one i think we've got it down on the third one or whatever it is right now but uh it's not much of a problem can we get that in there somewhere bring it out here a little bit more boom as you can see look we're getting there so you're gonna be able to have like three of these and you're gonna have like four of them and have that all around your base is gonna be well protected and have way more H HP hit points way more to call it health than a normal wooden base and obviously fetch stuff ain't that expensive it's not that hard to do so there we go there are seven like tips tricks way more to call it secrets than every arc player should know at some point if you're a pvp player pve player these are stuff that will help you you may have forgotten it it may have refreshed your memory and stuff so i don't know if you did find it helpful don't forget to smash thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe don't forget to ring that bell as well and let me know like i said if you thought any of this was helpful if you thought it was all useless or if you thought it was a little bit interesting go ahead and smash thumbs up button for all of them why the hell not so yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see you soon